Hi everyone. My name is Yvonne Seymour and I'm an EFT practitioner and personal development coach and I'm one of the therapists out in the Holistic Gardens and the therapy that I focus on is EFT which stands for Emotional Freedom Technique and is otherwise known as tapping. So what does tapping or emotional free freedom technique do? So basically what we do in EFT is we tap on the acupressure points on the upper body, okay? So by tapping on the acupressure points, we're reducing the stress response um, because tapping sends a positive vibration back to the back of the brain uh, where our fear center is. And in our fear center, which is called our amygdala, um, we all our emotional responses are stored there. So the fight, flight or freeze response comes from there. So if we're scared or nervous or anxious or stressed or sad or in pain, um, any type of an, emo an emotional response comes from that place in the brain. And when we tap on the acupressure points, what we're doing is we're interrupting the stress response. So the vibration from tapping it goes back along the meridians back to the back of the brain and it interrupts the stress response okay and reduces it okay and we complement that by saying words okay so um, I'm very passionate about EFT because it is such a handy self-help tool that helps you reduce your stress response really quickly so I've put together a five minute tap in relation to worry okay and I'm going to quickly go through that with you now so that you can see how it works, okay? So if you want to follow me if, when you're ready, if you want to place both feet on the ground and just take a deep breath in and breathe out. And now I want you to bring to mind a situation in your life that you worry about often or maybe are worried about at the minute, okay? And I want you to keep it in your mind as you tap. Okay, and I'm following a script here, so if my eyes are changing, that's why. Um, I've written a full script so that I can take you around a round of tapping really quickly and very safely. Okay, so, okay, and we start, in tapping, we start on the karate chop point, which is this point here. Okay, so this um, represents resistance. So when we tap on the karate chop, what we're doing is we call to mind the situation that we're in at the minute. So if you're worried about something, we call it out, okay? So it might sound negative, but um, it's actually the truth of the matter. So if you're worried about a situation, um, we talk about that situation now. And then eventually, as by going around the, the different points, we eventually try and bring it to a place where it's positive, okay? Where we turn it around to be a positive, okay? So I'm just gonna take you through it. Um, and if you want to follow me, follow me. And if you just want to watch the video and just take it all in, please feel free to do that as well. Okay? So I'm going to start on the karate chop point, okay? Which is the setup statement or the truth of the situation right now. And I'm going to say, even though I worry about this situation and it fills my mind with brain fog and I feel powerless, I accept myself and how I feel. Even though I worry about this particular situation and my anxiety is telling me that it's all going to go downhill, I honour how I feel and I'm okay. Even though I worry a lot about things I feel I can't control, I acknowledge these feelings and know that in this moment I can try to release this worry because it's, making, it's not making the situation any better or worse. Okay, so now we're going to move on. That's a setup statement complete. So now we're going to move on to the tapping points and we're going to gently tap on each point and, and just repeat after me, okay? Something tells me I need to worry. Side of the eye. To prevent things from getting out of hand. Under the eye, worry prepares me for the worst. Under the nose, preparation is key to handling any situation. Under the mouth, under the chin, but worrying doesn't feel good. Collarbones, it saps my emotional energy. 
under the arm so it's on your bra strap for ladies gentlemen it's from three inches down from your armpit okay it interferes with my life top of the head it stops my head feeling at peace back to the eyebrow point it steals my joy of the present side of the eye but these thoughts of worry seem so urgent under the eye and pressing and I need to pay attention under the nose they're warning me of what lies ahead and the chin but who is to say collarbones what worry says is what lies ahead under the arm worry grows unimagined scenarios top of the head which helps it stand on a shaky foundation back to the eyebrow point to place my emotional state on something imagined side of the eye is a projection of my fears under the eye that may or may not happen under the nose it doesn't sound fair or rational on the chin and even if there were some truth in it collarbones I choose to stay to take steps that will actually help. Under the arm, instead of dwelling on worrying thoughts. Top of the head, I choose to thank them and let them go. I choose to feel calm and confident and trust my ability to let them go because they serve me no purpose. They just keep me stuck. And now we're going to do a final round and we're going to relax and release, okay? Because when you try to release worry, sometimes resistance comes up, okay? So we're going to try and relax and release. Back to the eyebrow point. Relaxing and releasing any resistance to letting these worrying thoughts go side of the eye, relaxing and releasing and feeling safe now. And you can breathe through this as well. Under the eye, relaxing, releasing and feeling calm now. Breathe into that. Under the nose, relaxing, releasing and feeling confident in my ability to let these thoughts go now. On the chin, relaxing and releasing any resistance now. Collarbones, relaxing and releasing and feeling safe to let these thoughts go now. Under the arm, relaxing and releasing and feeling calm now. <clears throat> Top of the head, relaxing and releasing and feeling confident in my ability to let these worrying thoughts go now. You can gently tap, stop tapping. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Okay, so how did that feel for you? 
So that will be a typical round of EFT. That will be a typical session of EFT. That's probably a little bit quicker because it's a five minute tap, but um, it can quickly, if you, if you want to do it again, you can just see how quickly it can reduce your stress response if you do bring something to mind and how we can start off at a negative and bring it gently around to a positive. Okay, so that's what EFT is about. Um, if I'm, I, I'm, I'm taking people on a one-to-one -one basis out in the holistic gardens, it's by appointment only. So uh, there's a button down below the video to click um, that you can send me an email if you want to book an appointment please do or even if you want to inquire a little bit more about EFT and learn a little bit more about it before you come into a one-to-one -one session if you just want to have a quick chat about it and see how it could help you in your life okay so I hope you enjoyed that um, and hopefully I'll see you soon bye for now <laughs>